Hey, what's up you guys, and girls, and all my non-binary peoples. Today, I'm creating another character from the fantastic world of Duel Monsters. That's right, I'm creating the Red-Eyes Black Dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh! For this custom, I'm going to be using Caddy Noir from Monster High. Her jet black skin is so glossy, it'll work great in the grand scheme of things. So after all her long pink hair is chopped, I can go in with some pure acetone and lift her manufactured face. She had this silver glitter eyeshadow that wasn't wanting to come off so easily. But with some elbow grease and some promises to God, it'll eventually wipe away clean. I'm taking my needle nose pliers and scraping all the hair plugs out. Taking an X-Acto knife, I slice off her feline ears. This also gives me a bigger opening to extract all the mess of crap that's inside. I know it looks kind of gross, but it's oddly satisfying. <laughs> I just wish it wasn't so sticky. Like, it's sticking to everything. Just get off! Now that she's blanked out, I can start building the foundation for her facial features. I'm using a two-part epoxy sculpt. The concept for this character is a bit more abstract. While she will look like a dragon overall, I want her to resemble a female warrior wearing red-eyes black dragon armor. So I'm giving her face a total makeover. I want exaggerated features to make her look fierce. And I know I should be wearing gloves while handling this clay because it can severely dry out your skin, but I do not care because the gloves were just getting in the way. They were making me so frustrated I just couldn't continue working with them on. I'd say she's looking good. Kind of bird-like, but I guess all dragons look kind of like giant birds. Giant terrifying birds. Now to blend everything together, I'm painting her entire head with black acrylic paint. I'll let that dry and work on something else in the meantime. On to her body attire. I'm busting out the fun foam again. I'm basically cutting out her wings, chest plate, and bottoms using patterns I made. Everything else is just cut from imagination. Okay, her face is dry, so I'm going to paint her eyes red. I did use my pencils first, but quickly realized that it'd take forever to build the saturation. So straight on to paint it is. All right. And now for her hair. I'm using black acrylic yarn. Brush it out, flat iron it, and set it aside. And back to her armor. I'm using the same technique I used for the Dark Magician Girl, applying heat to the foam and warping it into the look that I want.
and if pieces ever seem too tiny for you to hold, then a pair of tweezers will really help you out. Usually, I don't like using hot glue directly on the doll's body because I like the idea of being able to change her outfit later if I wanted to, but since her face is pretty permanent, I know I won't be changing anything about this character, so I feel better about hot gluing her armor on. I'm also realizing that I should have had a brighter background for this video. There's so much black it's hard to see things. I don't know why I'm just realizing this now. Whoops! She totally looks like a demonic bunny right now. <laughs> For her shin guards, I'm layering fun foam to create a dragon-esque effect. I think they look really cool. And I'll be covering up any glue marks later. For her wings, I'm again using heat to warp the tips and create more dimension to what would otherwise be just a flat surface. You can see the difference it makes when they're side by side. Using 3D fabric paint, I add another element of black to her armor and wings. I don't want the foam to look boring or generic, so I'm painting on details using a spirally circular motion. This will also make the armor look wet since the paint dries super glossy. And with the black on black on black, it really helps to have different textures to break up the color. I'm doing the same thing to her wings. I don't want full coverage, just enough to accent the rest of the black. And for her tail, I'm taking small triangles of foam and curling the edges. I'm using a needle and thread to bind the sections together. Sew from the back into the front, and then vice versa until the sections are sewn together. This will allow the tail to still be movable. And this is the end result. It's pretty simple, but it looks like a dragon tail. Lastly, I'm applying her hair. I'm basically just going to glue it on and pull all of her hair back into a faux hawk ponytail type do. And with that, 
This doll is done. I think she turned out really killer. Kind of hard to see all the details because of all the black, but now the Dark Magician girl has a buddy to hang out with. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.